Many thanks for joining us on Super Screen News. I'm Adenike Uweye Ajibwe. President Bola Hamed Tinubu says the Supreme Court's judgment that upheld his victory has further strengthened his commitment to continue to serve all Nigerians, irrespective of political persuasion, strives and fates, with honor and total respect for diverse opinions. The president said this Thursday at the presidential villa in Abuja, uh, saying the renewed hope agenda for a greater and prosperous Nigeria has further gained momentum, assuring that he will continue to work to build a country that meets the collective yearnings and aspirations of its people. The president charged all to continue to build the country together, adding that the strength of diversity of Nigerians must now compel citizens in directing their energy towards building a stronger, united and more prosperous country. The president further hoped that the spirit of patriotism will be elevated into supporting the present administration to improve the living conditions of Nigerians. The president also expressed the willingness to welcome the contributions of all Nigerians in order to foster and strengthen collective progress. Yeah, I'm prosperous in Nigeria, and that's my belief. Now that your mandate is short, sir, and uh, Nigerians are now waiting to see what comes out from this administration. So, how are you rewarding Nigerians uh, with the mandate they've given to you, your Excellency? I've started from day one to work hard, regardless of you know uh, the court cases. Okay, and uh, just strengthen my resolve uh, to do more. A challenge of this nature. Uh, and if, if, if future of this nature is more work and more hard work, more dedication, and just appeal to the sense of patriotism of Nigeria to have a change of mindset. Let us be positive about our country, be ready to contribute in all ways possible. There's no promise of El Dorado from day one. We're all in this boat of diversity, a member of the same family, living in the same house, but stay in different rooms. And it is important that we recognize that we have no other country but this one. So we better be committed to it. President Tinubu, however, said that the Apex Court yeah, has done justice Nigeria. to all issues yeah, put up for considerations and the petitions on the merits of the law without fear or favor. And in a related development, reactions have continued to trail President Bola Hamed Tinubu's victory at the Supreme Court. A Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu, Ogo State Governor Dakbo Abiodu, and Yahaya Beilu of Kogi State congratulated the president as the storm as rock presidential villa Abuja. Reacting, the governor said President Bola Tinubu's victory at the Supreme Court is well deserving, adding that APC members across Nigeria and President Bola Tinubu worked very hard for the victory. Uh, for February 25th, a presidential election victory. It's very historic. You know, it's, it's the beauty of democracy. It's the beauty of um, the power of inclusiveness in governance, where everybody would have an opportunity um, to express themselves um, to, at the highest level. And as a people, um, that is run and governed by a constitution. We all need to abide by those constitutions. And I think the highest you know, judicial body in our country has expressed themselves you know, very clearly. And there were no descending voices. It was all seven of them that were on the same page. And so what that tells us is that whatever might have been a difference, let's put that behind us. It's a victory for all. I'm sure Mr. President too would have alluded to that. And what we need to now have is clear governance. You know, we must have, you know, um, um, a clear direction on how to, you know, um, get all hands on there, get the economy agenda of this country on track. You know, let us um, put 
whatever differences, political or otherwise, and let us rally around this administration, you know, for the benefit of Nigerians. What they did today was being observed worldwide. And it speaks to the fact that in Nigeria, uh, we are guided, you know, by the rule of law, and um, that Supreme Court uh, is a Supreme Court that compares to any Supreme Court anywhere in the world. Um, they've dispensed with this case. Um, they've done so uh, in line with global best practices. And there's no doubt left in anybody's mind um, that is now a closure. Um, our opponents can now go to sleep or they can now congratulate our president and if they actually did mean well for this country. You know, you aspire to an office because you believe that um, you can offer the country the representation that it deserves. And, but it must not be a do or die. If that uh, opportunity does not present itself for you now, and uh, the courts and the people have uh, chosen who they want, if you really do mean well for the country, what you need to do is congratulate that person, join hands with that person with to ensure that you know what you want to do is achieved, that the common man gets you know the best of governance. Now, our president can now be focused on the task of governance. All the distractions are behind him. Uh, he has a lot of work to do. This particular decision of today of the erudite jurists have further enriched our jurisprudence, and as well, it is clear, crystal clear to all Nigerians that our president won this election free, fair. And I congratulate INEC as well for a job well done. It couldn't have been better than this at this time, even though there are areas of improvement. But I congratulate them for taking their time painstakingly to do a good job that has been affirmed today by the highest court and land. I congratulate all of us and uh, like I admonished earlier, that opposition should just shed their sword, support the government of the day. If Mr. President succeed, it is Nigerians that succeed. And we are praying and working hard that Mr. President should succeed, because when your leader succeeds, it touches on all the followers. So we are praying that Mr. President is going to succeed, is going to deliver dividend of democracy to Nigerians and Nigeria is on the path of the renewed hope that he promised us earlier. So I thank you all.